Yeah, you can throw that nuts. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Sports Chasers Podcast. Hey, we uh I'm your host tonight, D Dub. I'm quarterback in this thing. We're doing it just like I told you, fellas. It's the 41 bus heading to Kings Plaza. This is the last Stupid. stop. This is the, this is the stop. This is the limited stop. Limited stops. That's it. Yo, we got the cast with you. We got DA, Mike Milley, James, the angry one. And we're going to start it off tonight with Major League Baseball World Series. Game six. It's over, folks. Done. Atlanta Braves, world champions. And uh, I told our moderator who's not here tonight due to his, uh, you know, just being out. And uh, I told him last week, I said, he was talking about the Dodgers the, a couple of weeks ago. I said, nah, I think I think the Braves got it. I think the Braves, they look different, just look different. And sure enough, Braves was that team. And I don't think, I don't think they was, uh, you know, they, it wasn't really a bunch of good games. I just think the Braves just kind of manhandled these guys, man, a little bit. That's it what was I, weird, you know. man. It was real weird because if you look at it, when the runs came, it looked like uh, that for like the whole series, right, for both sides. When the runs came, they came. And it just seemed like the pitchers were like, yo, I'm going to have to bow up because I got five runs and I got I to gotta put my 10 toes on these five runs. And this is what we're going to do. And I loved it because – there's no backing out, man. It's like, shit, man. We, yo, look, I'm putting 10 toes on this five runs my team got. You know, I think there was one comeback that was that that came back past that. But for the most part, it looked like there were more blowouts. It wasn't like a bunch of 1-0 games. Um, and I don't know if that's because of the scheduling uh-huh. and the, with the pitching now. And, you know, dudes are like, they don't have enough pitchers. And, you know, dudes are really like, like you got whole bullpen games now, right? Just to get your 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 rotation pulled back together. So it it seemed like the battle of the bats, but I guess for me it was the battle of the bats in a good way because it wasn't a bunch of dudes just hitting home runs. You had dudes getting on base. You had dudes stealing bases. You had hitting runs on, and you had dudes moving guys over and moving them in. So I, I, I'm there were there were a few grand slams, but you had to have guys on base to get grand slams. So yeah. I was I was definitely impressed with the fact that these guys knew how to hit the ball and move it over, and and that's it. That's all I want to see in baseball. Yeah, you know I, I'm not I'm not one for the long ball. I'm not a chick, so I don't dig it. So <laughs> that's that. so, hey, but hey, shout out to uh, Edwin uh, Rosario. Yo, they, hey, they yeah. he yo that cat played ball, man. Him, uh, what's my other dude? Um, or Hey Soler. So there, who yes. just came just, from uh, Kansas MVP. City. We beat up on them all year. Middle they the trade year. for him. He goes to Atlanta, and now he is a World Series MVP. That's mm. crazy. Yeah. I remember a few weeks ago, I think on PTI, they were talking about, yo, dude could have won the Batten Championship in the American League and the National League this year. Mm-hmm. Dig that. that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, man, the Braves, man, they're pitching everything, like you said, man, it just looked different. Um, maybe Houston could have used a couple of garbage cans, something I don't think it would have mattered because uh it seemed like it was it was destiny after what was that game three? It was just a yeah. uh, game game four. Was it game four? They came back and won that game. Oh four, yeah. you're talking about Houston, yeah, game four. They they smoked them. I think it was 11, 11 something. I think it was eleven. This is 11 3, 11 something, something, something to that something like that. But, uh, uh, yeah, the Braves, the Braves just look different, man. And the Braves will forever, well, I ain't gonna say forever because people still gonna say it, but for the amount of injuries and things that they had to overcome, the next man up mentality was right there in Atlanta all year because nobody gave them a chance after Acuna went there. Nobody. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? They'll say, oh, they did, but yeah, I'm sure, come on. A big stick in your lineup like that, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Guy, he's a a, a glue, and, in, in, you know, he and Freeman, you know, the leaders of that locker room and whatnot, um, nobody gave them a chance. And, and you know, and then the Mets, sorry, Mike, but, I mean, it's just realistic. When the Mets started having their little 
their little injuries here and there. You can see the the threading coming off that lead in the in the East, and it was it was all she wrote, man. So and shout out to the Braves, man, because that, that was that was a hell of a feat that they pulled off. No, oh, I'm sorry. Game three, that was a two nothing Braves win. Uh, so I'm talking about game four. It, so Houston game was four, up early, and then the Braves came back and won that game because they was yeah they won that game three to two. Also three to oh, two. Yeah. On game was four, because Houston was up two nothing. Yeah. Right, and Houston yeah. came back. I'm I'm sorry, and Houston came back in game five with the game nine to yeah. five. Uh, right. That's the one uh, I was thinking of. Yeah, and they yeah. they smoked them on on that one, and yeah, I mean, the games was you know it was it was okay, but um like I said, I I, I was a hundred percent in game three winner winning the whole thing because for you know that's just. After you know they split one and two in the, the game three, I don't know. It just that's I just felt the winner of that one was going to take it all. So you know, Mike, what you what you what your take on it? Um, I can't stand either team, but shout out to the Braves. I'm not a <laughs> hater. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I just call it how it is. But so yeah. I mean, the Braves are like a completely different team than the team we saw this season, honestly. They and, look and, completely different. And and yo, shout out to the Braves for pushing their chips in, and you know, not saying you know, because they didn't they didn't take control of the East until August sixth, right. if I'm not mistaken. The Mets yeah. was only like as bad as the Mets was. We only like three, four games out, and well, Philly exactly. was right there I, too. Like yes. everybody was right there as bad as that I, division was, I, I, and I they pushed Atlanta their chips was, in. Yeah, Go I ahead. think Atlanta was the the hottest team. Over the second half of the season in the National League, by far, mm-hmm. like yeah, between like them and the Cardinals, yeah, they were just pulling games out of bubble gum, right? You know what I'm saying, and like just getting it done, you know. So, hey, uh, I, I would have loved to see Dusty win, but they didn't have the better team. And I, and believe yeah. me, I ain't got nothing against the Astros, man. I got nothing but love for them, man, because you know what? For whatever everybody said, they were there again. So go back over the last five years and. Facts. I mean, they have some more not- trash. They have yeah, some more well, trash cans. Yes, don't worry. Hey. <laughs> it was bing, 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 right in the locker room. <laughs> They're gonna figure out something because they'll be. They're gonna next figure year. it out because you're gonna take some trash cans to Atlanta next year. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be back they, next year. They they're gonna, they're gonna well, be back, man, because that team this team knows how to win. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if Dusty's gonna say, you know what, I'm you know, I'm gonna check out. You know, he's yeah, had yeah. a hell of he a, might, a managerial he, career. Player. 80 years old, be about yeah, about man 80 is eighty. Old. Come on, I mean, so with that being said, I they still got the the talent to come right back. So don't don't be surprised. Go ahead, hey, they lost the picture. So go ahead, eat. Sorry. Yeah. Well, no, nah, I was just gonna say, I just uh, and, and as much as I say I want Korea in pinstripes, I still would want to see that whole team come back and try to run it back one more time. Yeah. That's, I mean. Any good team, uh, just as a fan of the sport, you know what I'm saying? Any good team like that deserves a run back. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, now you yeah. got free agency and all this other stuff that kind of halters those things. But I, I would like to see it, honestly. Well, that's what I was saying. I, I, I you know, I got to give them their props for continually getting there. Year after, you know, like I said, people can talk everything they want to talk, man. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you got there, I don't care how you got there. You got there. So I, I you know, I, I, I think it's going to be weird to see this all season because there's a lot of teams with some dudes that just need to give up, not give up as a team, but make some moves. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, start to do things a little smarter. My Yankees, for one. Um, definitely. They definitely I, on the I, list. I definitely think the Mets need to, you know, listen, if Noel Syndergaard is not doing it and he's hurt all the time and he needs another, maybe needs somewhere else to go. Uh, DeGrom is a, is, a, is a straight baller. You can't do nothing with him. Right. But, you know, listen, man, maybe you get something for Syndergaard. They need a, they might need a power back because I know we need a – we'll take a, a Syndergaard if he's three quarters and, you know, but there's never going to be a Yankees Met trade. But, you know, we need pitching. Other teams need hitting. Some dudes need home run hitting. But I would like to see the GMs kind of earn their money this summer or this fall. You know, rather than this winter, right? Uh, 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 you know, and and try to make some good moves that make some sense, rather than just throwing dudes on the team like ah we here. You know that that that's what we've been doing a lot of times at least. You know, so 
I, I, it should be an interesting offseason, at least I believe. Well, we got the Atlanta Braves. So, you know, shout outs to Atlanta Braves. Their last World Series win was 1995. 1995. And, uh, you know, that's when, that's when they had a real, uh, a lot of studs on that team. Oh, yeah, that was and, a long uh, team. We beat, we, you know, we had the... Uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, bang, bang, bang. congratulations to uh, Atlanta, the city of Atlanta. Shout out, shout out. You know what I'm saying? So uh, with that being said, um, it, we're going to segue because we got a lot to get into with the NFL, National Football League, and a uh, new uh, big story just coming out here a few hours ago was with Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Mr. Aaron Rodgers oh. had uh, has come down with COVID, and he's on the COVID protocol um, list. Um, most likely will not start on Sunday. Was it no? Is it Thursday? Is it turn? Is it tomorrow? They have played Kansas City or this week? I yeah, know. I think it's. Sunday. I think it's this. I think it's Sunday. Cause I think, Sunday. Um, okay. Yeah, it is Sunday. Sunday. So, um, he said, "Yo, this guy said it in an interview a few months ago that he had the COVID vaccine. He he took the the shot." And then it comes out that he didn't take the shot. Yo, the D, I, 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 <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Yo, sometimes Aaron, I like Aaron, but sometimes he be acting like he's this the smartest thing in the room uh, at times, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But dude, sometimes he is, but I'm just saying, though, it, this whole thing is going to come back and bust a lot of cats in their head, man. Because, uh-huh. you know, we talked about it today, man. What they say, yo, look, you mad at Kyrie, but Bradley Beal comes to the garden and drops 40. Because it makes sense. He's not vaccinated. Right. So either it's everybody or it's nobody. You know, so now you got dudes lying, like they do in the New York Transit and the New York Police Department. And everywhere else in the country. Everywhere else that has a mandate that you got to get it. What you do? You get a fake card. You're going to get a fake card or you're going to go to your your nearest priest and say, hey, father. (laughs) Yeah, whatever it is, so you don't have to do it. So. Let's stop exactly. the games. Let's let's stop the games, man. Yeah. All right, man. These dudes are gonna say this. It's not illegal to lie. Mm-hmm. And it's not under oath. So you you know, he can't be in trouble with the league. Oh well, so he put it. other people in danger. Oh, he, hey, uh... hey, hey, they was in danger in <laughs> the fucking way. You in danger anyway. You in danger well, anyway. So, you know, what, what difference does it make? Well, I got kids and I don't wanna, you know, my yeah, mother yeah, yeah, and yeah, my yeah, father. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you look, your, your kids, if your kids are so important. They would have had the vaccine for them first. They had the kids out here running around butt naked well, till the day. Oh, oh, we definitely ain't gonna talk about this. We're gonna get canceled. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I I that's why I even want to talk about this, man. Because so Aaron Rodgers isn't playing this week. Aaron Rodgers is not. Thank you, Mike. Aaron Rodgers is not playing this week against the Chiefs. Uh let's talk about it. Uh the Chiefs escaped a 20 to 17 win against the Giants. Uh what y'all think about the Kansas City Chiefs? And uh, let's uh, let's start with that. No defense. Over, still no defense. Still no, no defense. They're, 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 the, they're the second best team in their division. And they're about to be the third if they don't get their act together. Um, with, with San Diego, L.A., San Jose, wherever they play at. Um, mm-hmm. With the Chargers taking a, a, a back seat. Um, I don't know, you know, with everything going on in Las Vegas nowadays, ain't no telling what's going to hit that team, how they're going to perform. Oh, the and the Broncos are the Broncos. Um, it seems like they, 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 they're about to um, clean house, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I mean, Kansas City still will have a chance to be in the playoffs, play their way in the playoffs, but they, they don't have that mystique that they used to have, in my opinion. I think that's the biggest thing is they don't have the mystique. I don't think nobody's scared of them anymore. I nope. think the defensive coordinators have caught up with what they were doing. You know, and they say, okay, well, you can let Hill do, do what he does. We're just going to bracket Kelsey and let, let, let Tyreek win the game by itself. He hasn't done it. So that's that. You know, so evidently, you know, they have said, listen, okay, Pastor, man, do what you do. Do what you do. Yeah, they don't have a running back to speak of. Now I don't even know who he is. So they're giving the oh, ball. Uh, Tyreek got the back. What's his name? Um, 
Gore. Gore's His name is uh Gore. Gore, Gore, Gore had yeah, a Gore. uh no, what's that yeah. dude's name? Is Hella um Yeah, now nah, yeah. Hella ain't playing. Hella wasn't playing. So Gore yeah. was playing. Gore. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, and he's good. But what I'm saying is that well, he's nobody, good against the Giants. Yeah, yeah, good okay, guy. Okay. No one is scared. No, you no, know? so no. I, I think that's that's the big thing, man. That like, you know, and so you gotta stop somebody. Yeah, and they and they they played they barely. I mean, the Giants have seen this game. Giants could have won. Could have could have well won the game. Well, let's talk about Kansas City. Then now they might have a shot with Aaron Rodgers not playing, but that's not still not a kick a walk in the park with um what's his name Jordan Love. Jordan Love is going to be where is this game at? This game is in uh, Kansas City. Uh, that's going to be a four twenty five start. On Sunday, November seventh. So you know, the next. Oh man, listen, they got the the cheat, the Packers, the Raiders, the Cowboys, the Broncos, and then the Raiders again, and then they got the Chargers. I mean, this this I believe the Chiefs got the hardest uh, uh, schedule in the league, and these next four. Four yeah, six games I, is going to be tough. Yeah, I, I they don't have a chance. I, I if you're going to ask me to bet some money, D, uh-huh. I would say that they don't have a chance of making the playoffs because you're going to have. I, I'm I'm almost booking that the Patriots may have a chance to get there. Right, they may have the same score, same record by the end of the season. Mm-hmm. Um, so you got the Bills, right? So okay. we'll go with the top. The number one team in the AFC will be the the Bills. Probably the Titans, right? So that's the South. The North is going to be, uh, I'll just go with Lamar, fighting Lamar's. And then the West is going to be the Raiders. Mm-hmm. And then you have, what, two two wild cards? Well, one of those wild cards is coming from the Central. Yeah. Uh, with, so it's going to be either yeah, uh, seven teams. the Bengals. It'll be the Bengals or, uh, yeah, it'll be the Bengals or the Steelers. Um, I think one of them will probably come from. I don't know if one will come from the South because I don't think the Colts will make it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they may have a chance because the Colts. I don't think they're going to make it. So I don't believe so. I, I don't believe so because uh, the Colts. Um, yeah, Carson only thing Wentz. that saves Kansas City really is that seventh that seventh slot that they that yeah. they put in there for the wild card. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that is three teams now instead of two. Yeah. So that gives them hope. Yeah, I don't think right. So you got the Raiders, a five and two. Um, Patriots are four and four. Bills are five and two. The Ravens are five and two. So, I'm trying to think, who has a, a four and four? What what are the, what are the uh, uh, so the the Chiefs are what four and four or four and four? Or, yeah, Chiefs are five hundred. Yeah. All right, so you got the, the Titans in front of them, right? Chiefs are four and four. Chargers got, are game up because they're four three. You, you got, got the game up on them. Yeah, uh, you got the the Bengals at five and three. The Steelers at five and three. The charge. I'm sorry. The Steelers at four and three. The Chargers at four and three, and the Patriots at four and four. That's all the teams that they're looking up at right now. Mm-hmm. And then you still got the Browns and the Broncos are both four and four. So they like, have no room for error right now. Mm-hmm. Not not a bit, man. So it's not going to be a, a it's not going to be easy. And we're still talking about a team where, though D likes to say arrogantly he does it, but they take a lot of chances. Um, and and you can see, like you can see, as much as Pat Mahomes tries not to, it's just in his DNA. Like that, the the interception that was like a jump pass. It's like, yo, dude, that wasn't what the call was. And it was, <laughs> you could tell that, and you yeah. threw it, and dude tried to catch it, but you threw it so hard, it hit him in the face fast and went up in the air, and it's an interception. Now, Danny Jones, being the nice guy that he is from Duke University, oh. decided that he would give it back the very next play. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's what, manners, that's young men. Hey, hey. That's, that's, that's generosity. Yes, you know that's, that's manners, young men and women. You guys don't know about those manners that Daniel Jones Southern hospi- hospitality, bro. Yes. What? Yeah, I don't know that. Yes. That is terrible. Terrible quarterback play. That's what it so, was. 
Uh, yeah. Michael, Michael, uh, your thoughts on the Kansas City Chiefs before we move on? Uh, we already said about the Green Bay. They play Green Bay this weekend. Uh, any thoughts on on either one? Hey, Kansas City better win that game. It's a gimme. Like, what y'all was talking about is not a gimme, but what have we seen Jordan Love do? Not throw the ball to the other team. Yeah, listen. There's a lot hey, of guys. That, that's that all throw, that matters to me is that you I, listen, throw the ball to the other it's team. It's a lot of guys that throw the ball to the other team that still got jobs, Dan Jones. <laughs> mm. But we make excuses for them. So I just no, want to see not, if we make Darryl. excuses for for Darryl, Darryl, I don't. Darryl, Darryl already got that nigga on such an eight. So <laughs> he need to he need to go. He <laughs> is Darryl. Darryl. Yo, the Chiefs play no the only the Giants. To have a tough time with a team that played no defense. Used to be on section like, eight. His yeah, section is not good. Is good. <laughs> no, his section is not good. What? Two two bad defenses in a row. The Giants and they couldn't stop Atlanta. Atlanta was going. They can't stop the Chiefs. Like uh-huh. it's just ridiculous. But well, the, the NFL is like the real league of halves and half nots. So. Yeah, but it's a lot of half. It's, it's, it's a lot of fraudulent behavior. But uh, a lot of Chiefs, fraudulent behavior. The Chiefs, the Chiefs should win this game. All right. They're gonna make it look good. But this is remember, I, remember I told y'all a couple weeks ago, Aaron Rodgers had an escape plan, right? Oh god damn. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was making that. it look good. I, I own the Bears. I own them. <laughs> Yo, we're not going to yeah. get into that right now. We're going to move oh, on. Yeah. Next game here, Bengals versus the Jets. Was you surprised about what happened with the Jets uh, quarterback, uh, Mr. White? Not looking back on it, no. No. Who? who, who what? Bengals what? won this game you, you, 31. I mean, excuse me. Bengals lost this game to the Jets 34-31. I'll explain. Mr. Now, White explain, threw for Mike, over, do, over 400 you, yards. You can, uh, you, can, you can jump on me in a second, Mike, but the reason why I wasn't surprised is this, man. There's no film on Mike White. Uh-huh. No. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's none. Like, unless you're going to go back to his Northwestern or wherever the heck he went. Western like, Kentucky or something. Yeah, like you, yeah, you've got no idea what he did. Now, so there's like no they, quarterback controversy for the Jets. Uh, yeah, there's a quarterback controversy. What you mean? That, yeah, I won and you lost. But that, that, that's a controversy. You uh, know, they, uh, uh, I mean, Zach, so you say, so you say, Zach Wilson look, has there's no controversy. You, Zach Wilson they, uh, have to worry. He has to look on. on his shoulder. A Mike White jersey in the Hall of Fame. It might be <laughs> yeah. controversy. Yeah, your Mike White is not coming out. Yeah, <laughs> not not based on what Zach Wilson did his last few games. You okay. Know, Robert Robert Sala can do. He can reorganize that over the summer. Okay. I, I wouldn't if I would if, if he's smart. Let it play out till Mike White loses, and then put your boy back in. It's his first year. Dude don't have no ego to be crushed. If it's you don't just, want to be crushed, don't throw the ball to the other team, Zach. Well, well, well we also know, D, like you always say, owners own and players yeah. play. Yeah. And if that owner says, hey, I love Zach Indeed. such and Indeed. such, and Zach will be playing, regardless Indeed. if this yeah, dude you, throws. You are correct. You are correct. Yeah, that's yeah, that's I, the only thing that I will be looking for come I, I stand uh, the next couple of weeks. I stand yeah. corrected. Yeah. But based on play, I totally agree with you. But just going back to the game, I don't think that the I don't think that that the Bengals played arrogantly like they was, you know, yo, they got outplayed, man. And and the Jets do have players. If you look them down their roster, they don't have a ton of players, but like on the defense, they got two good dudes at every level, which a lot of teams don't have. They got two good defensive linemen, two good linebackers, and two good one DB and one safety that are pretty good. The right. offensive line is pretty good. They they ran a very vanilla offense, except for that trick play, you know, mm-hmm. to, to the Mike White special. Uh, Matt White, right? Was it, no, Mike White. Mike, Mike White. White. Yeah, Mike White. White special. So, yo, White it, White. it was like, it was like, focus, focus. Yes. Uh, yeah, but, yo, listen, at the end of the day, when you looked at the game, it was like, yo, this was actually a pretty good game. And uh, the Bengals lost. So the the Bengals it, are not world beaters. That's the other thing, right? Yeah, I mean, so this, this is a classic. Before, we can't do this. Is a class, this is a classic case. This is yeah. another one. Any, any given Sunday. Any given, any, any given Sunday, stuff like this can happen. Uh, Cincinnati is coming off of impressive wins uh, from the week, the week before. 
Exactly. So, so on, you know, on the other channels, they are they the best team in the league because they beat Baltimore. Te- Baltimore yeah, has Baltimore. sixteen guys on the damn IR. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. there's you know, come on, man, stop. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally. And the, agree. And the Bengals are are working towards what <laughs> the, the the Ravens and the Steelers are, which which is consistency, and they have to learn that. Um, this this. I don't know how it would have went if Zach Wilson was able to play the game. Um, mm-hmm. I think most probably would have picked the Bengals. However, um, it turned into a trap game for them. Um, mm-hmm. They got punched in the mouth and they started counter punching and it was the last punch, knocked them out, and that was it. Um, on to the next one for them. Uh, I, I, if I'm the Bengals, I'm not losing too much sleep over this game. Um, if I'm the Jets... I have a lot of questions about my team and are, are we, can we ride this ship out now or what, what are we, you know what I'm saying? And it's, mm-hmm. what, what is, what are the Jets? The Jets are two and five and two they, and they, five. So it's like, you, you kind of started out too late, but you still, you got a bunch of young guys on that team. You want to see what they can do. And you know, you, 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 you want to push them hard, but not too hard. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But with that being Which, said, the Jets, the Jets will play the Colts, uh, the three and five Colts at at um, what's that? Uh, in uh, Indianapolis on Sunday, Sunday night, I believe it is. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday, night. Eight, Thursday, eight, night. Eight, Thursday. tomorrow, right? yeah. the tomorrow. Okay, standing uh, tall at the ATM. Yeah, yeah so, I, I, I expect the Colts win out. Go ahead, serious Mike. question though, y'all think Mike White gonna do? I right? I need a quarterback in fantasy this week. Hey. I, think Yo, I mean, I, I, don't I can't know. say nothing, the, man, because I got thought the Heineke, I thought well, they Heineke got looked them. good after week one, and we all see what happened with that. Look, they still got them cornerbacks that was there when Lamar was throwing on them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, they you know, they, they, put them in. they got they True. got they got the they got the tape on Mike. So, you know, they put uh, Colts. The Colts is not a bad team. They just, you know, they, oh, yeah, yeah, they are. They are. They, oh, they, damn, they're not man. a bad. That was a bad loss. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's a bad loss, but that was a bad loss for their. Yeah. For their. Uh, they needed yeah, that. Yeah, they needed that win. They could have been and, at four. And now Derrick Henry out, so that was their chance. Like, yeah, yeah but you know, we the, beat the, him, and now he's out too. So we got time for to make a move. Yeah, uh-huh. they took that L, and everything that they said they were supposed to be at the beginning of the season, they are not. Well, uh-huh. they're gonna have a good defense and a strong offensive line. Not. Not this, but we thought they were. Well, and the Bengals have an important game. They will face off with the at home against the Browns. The Browns coming in at last place. The Bengals are five and three. So you know uh, that should be a good game. Uh, I got no, you know. no comment on the Browns. I did. Uh, uh, well, speaking of the Browns, uh, the Browns played the Pittsburgh Steelers and lost uh, fifteen to ten. Yeah, uh, Roethlisberger. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mikey. Okay, they Mike. fudged again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, here's the Steelers at four and three. You know, um, they still. I mean, Roethlisberger. Uh, that's uh, Da's. <laughs> D. Yo, D. What's the problem with? The... I'm just waiting for this fool to retire, man. But with, with this guy, what, I mean, he's quarterback in the team for the 15 to 10 win over the Browns that everybody had them going to the the Super Bowl. Two or three years ago. Can, can I ask you a question, man? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Was that last pass that he threw that dude? Was that a great pass on him or a great catch on the on the tight end? Do you think that's <laughs> suspicious? That had to, yeah. Do you think that's suspicious? <laughs> the dude had to reach over the other guy's back to catch the ball. Hey, man. Listen. He put his secret special touch on yes, that pass. Yes, he did. Yes, yes. He put he it put a- somewhere where only his receiver can get it. Yeah, yeah oh, there, you yeah, there you go. There you go. That's that spin. <laughs> That's that ball placement, boy. He That's like on, on the other guy's with, back. He like placing stuff that only people could see. Yeah, yeah. I, I I threw it on his back, so only my man could get it. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, man, dude, listen. That's what he does. Yes, he does that. He does. So, uh, Look, go ahead, Mike. The Steelers are gross, and the Browns are grosser, and <laughs> the gross and gross. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like. Like the Browns, everybody they always do this. Like ever since they got, they won a couple games. The Browns, man, the Browns, the Browns, 
are the Browns, are the Browns, are the Browns. They always gonna Brown. So that's what they do. They think they want to, some weeks they want to run the ball and they like the best team ever. And in yeah. other weeks, they throw the ball 31 times with yes. Vega and yeah. lose. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what they yeah. do. So yeah. 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 until Vega learns how to hit open receivers. Mm. And, and until and, they learn, uh, Odell, carries, o, Odell Beckham's father made it known that he, he definitely listen, my son Baker. is open. He exposed Baker, if, ladies and gentlemen, children out there, future football players. If you want to learn how to beat the DB, please go watch that. Watch that film, it's on YouTube of Odell being open the last four weeks because he's been cooking these DBs and wide open. And Baker is staring and waving at the cheerleaders. So, well, you know, I brought I brought up a point. When is it that a team says, "Hey, enough is enough," and we got to get rid of, uh, you know, either it's not that it's anybody's fault, but somebody had just has to go. When when do we? Oh, it's somebody's we, fault. <laughs> yeah, somebody's I'm trying to be PC with it. No, I'll let you guys. Oh, go you know, I'm 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 a one. I'm angry, man. I, I just, ahead, man, man. Fuck I, all I, that, I, dude. Listen, listen. when you a quarterback, well, I'm, uh-huh. I'm sorry. When ahead, you a quarterback, go. right? You have to hit open receivers. That's your now, job, Mike Da. I, I tried to explain. I tried to explain to our brother here about you know coming from college where they only teach you one or two reads, and then you come to the pros, and then you have a full playbook, and you you have three, four, five reads, right? Obviously, Baker is not, and this is his second playbook in well, third playbook in Cleveland now, right? Um, he they have um massively decreased his ability. Well, yeah, his ability to have to make three, four reads, and he still can't make them. You have a run game now that's supposed to ease everything for you. And you still, everybody's seen the tape. And it's not just, it's, it's, it's Landry too, because I've seen a couple of games where Landry was open and he didn't hit him either. So Baker, in my opinion, you're not trash, sir, but you oh, ain't no, great. Oh, no, oh, no. You were not number trash, one pick. You he was the number one pick. And you I guys know. said that I, he was I, better than Sam Donald. He was better than uh, was. Lamar Jackson. He's, he's better than Donald. Who, who said no, that? I Nobody up here said that. I Nobody up here said that. When when the when the when the Browning Browns traded him to get this dude, everybody was just as shocked as when the Giants uh, uh, yeah. drafted this guy when they drafted him. Come on, I'm man. like my thing Come is on. who are the people that just said, "Hey, you know, Baker is the, 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 it, yo his stock went up so high during." I remember I the, he was, his I stock he went up kind of quick. Yeah, what I told you was that he he wasn't good at running from cops. Yeah, That's he did. He I did. Know. He was a bad. Yeah, right. Well, not that good at that. Not that yes. good at that. Look, look, the reality is this, man. These guys that get paid these this money with these these dollars, with these teams, these GMs, these scouts, these whatever, it becomes all of a voting competition. Man. All right, so if you you picking a quarterback from Oklahoma, you're talking about, and I'm keep it straight, honey, with everybody. You, you, you are playing at the only school, one of the two schools in that conference where they are actively paying players to be there. And still don't get the best players, but they're actively paying dudes at Oklahoma and at Texas to be there. And he was a walk-on, right? No, nah, he wasn't a walk-on. He transferred Big? from Texas Tech. He walked okay. on at Texas Tech, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Texas I Tech, thought... okay. Then he went to Oklahoma. So once he's at Texas Tech, he was a D1 player. Mm-hmm. He transferred in, right? So, not saying he can't play. He was a gritty kid, but in college, it's a different game. You you know, you got Tim Tebow. No disrespect to Tebow. You got Tim Tebow. There's a lot of quarterbacks that did a lot of work in college and could not get a cup of coffee in the pros mm-hmm. for a lot of different reasons. So, what I'm saying is that I'm not saying the cat can't play. Maybe he needed more time. I, I don't know what it is, right? Because mm-hmm. he's been given – a heck of a team and we're talking about with you know injuries you know so they, they got a you know you get a wide receiver injured but you get a go to back the, the well, they, they, they said that this team was a, this team was a what? super bowl team 
Oh, yeah, well, you know, they say that based on the roster, not on the yeah, team. you know, the yeah, the Madden the Madden players. The yeah. players you know. right, you're looking right. at you looking at papers. You're not looking at what they're doing, mm-hmm. right? And if you keep a good defense on the field too long, they're not a good defense. Mm. That's exactly right. Right. So 100%. my thing is, you, you, you know, listen, I, I, I've, I've learned a lot in the last few years, man, that football has a lot to do with luck and, and where you are and where your team is. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they could have did this. Yeah. They could have did this with Baker had you had this team that they got right now when he was a rookie. Right, so you have mm-hmm. a great team around them and a rookie quarterback. You're not asking them to do nothing. Bow, you're good. But you know, dude, four, three, four years in now, he thinks he can do some things, mm-hmm. and he wasting hey. that defense. So that's hey. what it is. Hey, the uh, the trade deadline has came and gone. Uh, Odell Beckham is still there. What do hey. you see? What do you guys see for Odell Beckham? Does he uh, find a way how to get out of here? Nope. Or does he stay as a Cleveland he's, he's he's there. Um, so there's, how many years is this the last year on this deal, or he got another nah, year? He got no, nah, he, he got other years, but he'll be there. I think my personal opinion is that I think he'll be there to the end of the season, yeah, and then they will trade him for something, yeah. Now, I was okay. gonna say that he'll be there for the remainder of the year. So, you, you, so you think they they all in with Baker? It doesn't make sense to trade Baker or try to find some because something has to go. So, I mean. Something has to well D, like you say, 10 year rule. Yeah. That quarterback thing, you can't move off that quarterback as quickly as you can move off the wide receiver. That's that's one hundred. You got you got unless you're the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah they Rosen, got Rosen out of there quick. Yeah, Josh done. Rosen, he just came from my house selling selling a, a Kirby vacuum cleaner. So you know <laughs> selling Victor knobs. Yeah, so, right. You know. But uh yeah, yeah, yeah um so okay, all right. So uh, and then and and then Betty. another thing too, we don't know what's going on in that locker room. Yes, this is Odell's daddy putting all this stuff out or whatever. I honestly, I don't see it phasing Baker. Baker's going to do what Baker has been doing, and yeah, he's giving out Baker's dozens, right. <laughs> whether it's good dozen or bad dozen. So uh, we we gonna see, we gonna see what what happens, man. I don't think that stuff like that is gonna. Yeah, I yeah. nah, I don't. So you, so I think the, they will both. I, me personally, I think that they will find ways, kind of like what they did toward the end of last year. They will find ways to get Odell the ball, which is, of course, the coach's main thing. Okay, hey Baker, on this play, you throw right to Odell as soon as you hike the ball, or they're gonna do some reverses or some some screens or something. Okay, you got too much talent on that team. Yeah, to be playing this seen, mediocre is ridiculous. Yeah, I understand to, football I mean, is football, and anybody gets get smacked in the mouth. We get that, right? Mm-hmm. But the way that team is built, that team is built how we love football from back in the day. It's the power run game, and you play action off of that. Unfortunately, the guy that is doing the play action is just playing with no action. No action. Yeah, he's he tripping. You know, but like I said, that's why I've been, I've been kind of riding out for Odell. Cause like I said, since dude been there, you ain't heard nothing out of his mouth, man. You know he ain't. He's not he's saying been, he's been quiet. Dead, though. Yeah, he's, it's it's not Odell. I mean, they you know they 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 quick to blame. And that's it's not they've Odell. Been trying, they've been trying to go at Odell since he been, like because the mere presence of Odell being on that team is gonna make Baker nervous. Stop fucking! Come on, man. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And, and as far as I'm concerned. Um, Odell Beckham, man. I don't know, man. To me, I hate to see guys, and we talk about this, when you see guys go to teams and they end up wasting their best years, like, really, he, sh- he should be still in New York. And this is this is a Gettleman thing. He should, he probably should have never went, on, and then if he did, the Giants did trade him, but they should have got so much more back for this guy. But and he be get the same thing in New York. Got going on right now. I, I, well, I don't think so, Mike. I think, uh, well, this I, is I more injury saying. related. Yeah, I, I thought the Rams were going to do something because they are yeah. just you know rolling for dollars right now. Because mm-hmm. I want to know, I want to see they the cap. Jackson went there. I want to see not. they. I gotta see the books. Well, yeah, Rams, the Rams got some funny business going. Nah, on. The Rams but, not paying. The Rams not paying them. What's your going salary? 
Um, right. Denver's paying his money this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that's that's the that's the beauty about football is that guys could get traded and you wonder how in the world is this team affording this guy? Well, well you're that's right. because it's, it's the negotiations the negotiations are a lot mm-hmm. different than it is in basketball and baseball mm-hmm. where guys can renegotiate contracts or teams will say, hey, we're going to pay all of this. We just want them out of here. And if the Rams say, hey, I'll give you a second and a third, hey, you, you'll take it because you're probably not going to get that nowhere else. I mean, nice. and let's, let's be clear. I know we're jumping all over the place, but can we understand something, okay? No, now I hear everybody's crowning the Rams to win the the, the, the damn NFC, okay? Pump Let break. me just say this. How old Pump your break. is Von Miller? 32. He's not 26. He's 32. not 28? No. But he ain't going to play all the downs, so. hey. though. Okay. Von Miller? Don't, do people not see who their quarterback is? Oh, okay. All right. Bad Stafford. Jared Stafford, Matthew Goff, boy. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde over there. Them the hey, same I, dude. Them the hey. same person. Well, I think Vaughn will be all right because, remember, they didn't give up anything. So whoever's playing defensive end for him today is going to be starting at defensive end tomorrow. It's just that Vaughn comes in every now and again on you the wide line. On the, on the and, you know, I mean, it's going to be hell to pay. And you know he got his weed card from Colorado too. Hey, you know, we're gonna have to we're gonna move on to the next game. Yeah. No, you good? That that <laughs> pass rush is gonna be crazy. Hey, uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, anybody's take? Go ahead, whichever one. Uh, Dak did not game. play. We got a man, uh, Cooper Rush. <laughs> the Cooper <laughs> Cooper Rush came in and uh, he played good, man. He played played he about uh, the Tony uh, Romo Dak. Oh man! Oh, I told some Cowboys fans. I said, "Hey man, y'all might have a, a, a yeah, quarterback controversy that. too, man." Uh, Not that they, yeah, they yeah. got that money. Yeah, you know, it, well, we seen uh, stranger things have has happened in the you NFL. Know? So you know, I, I, I don't think Jerry getting up off that forty four million without some skin. Oh, they no. just paid him. Yeah, that's Dak job. If they wouldn't have just paid him, it'd be curtains for they, Dak. Yeah, yeah, Dak would have been gone. Oh. Gone. He, listen, Dak, don't even come in tomorrow. He would have been so, on the COVID list uh, uh, the next 45 minutes after that game. Yeah, just, yeah, just Cowboys, rest your leg up. Rest your arm up. <laughs> Cowboys so, got the win 20 to 16 coming in into a hostile Vikings uh, stadium there. And uh, Dallas got the win. Uh, Zeke played pretty good. Uh, he had an a awesome uh, catch and run. Down down the stretch of the, it was in the fourth quarter, uh, to give them the game winning uh, touchdown. Got me, uh, man. huh? I what was that? Me. Yeah, yeah, me. yeah. I, I ain't watch a minute. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, <laughs> a, a Cowboys fan, man. I did not watch a minute. Well, the Cowboys go to six and one, six and one. And they are dominating the NFC East, East. as of right now. Six and one. Uh, are they six and two. Six and, six and one. And they only one. lost one game. Get yes. out of here. Six and one. And uh, oh, that first your, one. What's your thoughts on the Cowboys? Any thoughts on the Cowboys? Any thoughts on the Vikings? Three and four. Not really. The the Vikings will never get from in front of themselves, and the Cowboys are the Cowboys are the Cowboys. So yeah, that means they're gonna do this. They're gonna make the playoffs. They're gonna win the division, and then they're gonna lose, and then they're gonna say they're gonna make changes, and the team's gonna look like the same next year. I look the same. They got the script. That's the syllabus. The Cowboys is the Cowboys is the Cowboys. Well, the Cowboys got the Broncos uh coming up this week at one o'clock. And uh Teddy Bridge over the water. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah y'all already know what I, I I feel about Teddy Bridge. I'm telling you that you know, hey. He played Broncos. that terrible Washington defense last week and ain't do nothing. Yeah, standing tall at the ATM, baby. Yeah, Teddy's yeah, about you, to you got, be done. You got, oh, he he just stepped out. So we move on to the next uh next team there. Who we had? Um, oh, there you go. E, do you have anything w- with the Cowboys? Yeah, that's why he stepped out. This piece of mess, yo, man. Um, Cow. 
No, I really don't. Um, the Vikings <laughs> is doing it. The Vikings is doing exactly what I said. Uh, depending on which Minnesota Viking team that you get, they can be scary down the stretch, or they can just give the opposition wins. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really. I mean, I will say this though. Um, the Cowboys are only going to go as far as Zeke is going to take them. Zeke is looking better than I've seen him in at least a year or two now, and. Mm -hmm. um, that is going to be scary for everybody else in that NFC East if that uh well it's already scary for them because they the only team over five hundred yeah but right. yeah um yeah it's it's yeah yeah I don't I don't have nothing else to say man yeah, I mean that should have been that should have been a win for Minnesota but yeah. Well, I'm gonna go re recap real quick here. We had a Carolina Carolina. Be, no, Carolina lose. Uh, yeah, lose to uh, the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Falcons. I'm sorry, got the Hawks on my mind right now. Um, Tampa Bay take a took a L to New Orleans, 36-27. Uh, we got Jameis Winston out for the season. Out for the season, Jameis Winston. That's Tom rough. Brady. Go ahead. I was just saying that sucks. Now he's playing I. Yeah, uh, and what's the other man, real quick? Uh, Derrick Henry, his yeah, squad yeah. sucks. Tennessee won that game 34 31 over Indy, but lost Derrick Henry. He's out. Uh, is he is that a season ending for him or? Yeah, 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 yeah he's done. Sure. They went and signed um, Adrian Peterson, a blast from the Peterson. past. Adrian yeah. Peterson gonna have a thousand yards, yeah, yeah that, that, in that, three weeks. I'm guaranteeing yeah. you. Yeah, that that That's would be. Ain't been, he ain't been doing nothing but beat his kids and and, and take. Them <laughs> <out>. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, get it right back, get it right. Back. He, get they right grown back. now, man. They grown up yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, they Philadelphia. got grown right. They got grown right after that. Uh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia took on the Detroit Lions and beat them pretty bad, forty-four to six. Uh, the L.A. Rams. Also took them took the Houston Texans to the woodshed 38-22. Last time I saw that game, that it was 30 something, 34 nothing or something to that effect. Uh and I was like, why do they keep on going to this game? That game was absolutely trash. Uh, we also got the San Francisco 49ers who took on the Chicago Bears at home, got the win 33-22. I was messing with the DA, told him that Jimmy Garoppolo. Yo, he did his thing, man. And DA did not want to have nothing. I, 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 will, I will trade him and Trey Lance <laughs> for Deshaun Watson yesterday. And I'll throw another case on his books, 23 cases, and we'd still take it. Hey, man. Hey, listen. Can we just get Deshaun Watson's cases cleared up and the boy so right, he listen, go listen, get the plan? Listen, dog, I don't care if the cases hey, hey. are not cleared up. We want him in San Francisco. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Because they said the day until he gets indicted, uh -huh. he can't go on that on that um uh the Goodell list until he indicted. He ain't indicted with nothing. He good. Mm. Essentially, he could have been playing if Houston had played their cards right. 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 Well, that's that's something to be watched, and we still still waiting on Deshaun to um show it. You know. Pop up, but you know, like he's he not there. gonna pop up this season. Yeah, he's there, you know, but he's he just not going. He was there. He was going to the facility. They told him to stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just stay I, home. I don't know, man. It seems like the NFL needs to get this thing together, figure out what is protocol. I mean, and you just won't. got allegations. What'd you say? E? I said and won't because the NFL is yeah reactionary. So yeah, there's still the same same issues and um. Mm -hmm. We're gonna move right along. New England Patriots beat the LA Chargers 27-24. Um, good, it was a good game. I was shocked. Uh, Justin Her Herbert had a uh he didn't have a, a particular uh good game, threw a couple of interceptions in uh in that game. Seattle beat Jacksonville 31 to 7. Uh did Gino play that game? Yep. Yeah, you know, you all they got, man. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> It was Jacksonville, so they, they beat up on them. And what we got? We got Denver taking on Washington. They beat them 17 to 10. 
And that will be all for uh, our NFL. Do you got anything else? Uh, we got week nine coming up. No. We uh, who we got? Who we got? Oh my so goodness! Got some really? like you know, not bad games, but the games are not really uh. You know, uh, Jets and Colts tomorrow night. I'll pass. Yeah, Bills, mm-hmm. and Jaguars. I pass. Falcons, Saints, pass. Raiders, Giants, not gonna, the Rams and the Titans not going to be good no more because of the injury. Vikings mm-hmm. and the Ravens could be okay. Uh, Browns and Bengals, Bengals could be okay. Uh, Broncos <laughs> and Cowboys is going to be a blowout. Dolphins and Texans, who cares? Chargers and Eagles, sneaky okay game. Packers There's no Chiefs, okay. Well, not, not no more because of the COVID day. I'm, I'm only I'm yeah. only watching one game this week. I'm I'm gonna keep all right. it all the way. Uh, well, hey, this feel like last you know, season. You know you have to watch that game, E, because the Cardinals are gonna beat the shit out the Niners. And I don't know, they the Titans I don't, and the Rams. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy G throwing for this is this Jimmy, is the division, man. I ain't going. I don't throw no team away like Jimmy that. G yeah, throwing yeah. for four hundred. They gonna win. And that could happen. Hey, I defense. think that the card. No, the Cardinals got that loss out the way, E. So I, I think they'll, 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 they'll be back this year. Yeah, you know, it, it, yeah, I don't know my team like I do, man. That, yo, man, I'm telling you, inconsistent. So mm-hmm. as well as they played and got turnovers and all this other stuff, they won't get no turnovers, no sacks. AJ Green is out, so I guess he's still practicing on blocking or trying to catch a pass or whatever. So, um, yeah. We'll see. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not going to diss my team. I think, I think it's, it's going to be a close game, but uh, go ahead, dear. I think we'll play hard. I think we'll do what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't, I still don't believe in our quarterback. We still got a lot of injuries, too. So uh, mm-hmm. a lot of dudes right now are not going to be there. So um, we'll see. And our defense is like got off the bat. So um, join the club. Yeah, but you know what? It, it, it it was like a year a year away, man. Last year, two years ago, man, we had a super defense. So right, you know, right. I, I I I go into like with my bag with my my real nineties dudes and we talk, man. We think John Lynch, we got something planned, but we gotta pull some of those strings from Shanahan and mm-hmm. get that defense pulled back together within the next year or two. So but we let go of too many players. So yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. get it together. And I, I I really shouldn't even be talking smack about my Cardinals because we got the second best defense uh, based off of points allowed. So I, I guess they're not that bad. But no, they're not, man. They're not. Yeah, it's not too many games, good games this week. Um, especially what happened, what was supposed to be was the Kansas City Chiefs and Green Bay was supposed to be that game, and um, don't look like it's going to be that type of a game. Well, that's your um, love to show out. Yeah, uh, we might have a good game, the Sunday night game, the Titans and the Rams. Um, Not really. Derrick, no. But Derrick Henry, he's... Unless unless Tannehill, Tannehill's going to have to throw for 350 for that to be a decent game. You know, AP going to run for 250. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that, I mean, on paper, just looking at the, the records, you know, hopefully, yeah. hopefully you might have, we might have a good game. That's, that's in LA? Yeah, that's in LA. Yeah. So, yeah. uh yeah. Uh, and I'm going to leave it on this one. We got the Raiders versus the two and six New York Giants, but I'm not talking about them. I'm going to talk about this is a public service announcement to the kids. Please, no drinking and driving. Henry Don't Ruggs say. is about to lose everything. A lot. Everything. A lot. Yes. Everything. So, this is not my time to shit on Henry Ruggs. It's the time for the let me educate the youth and let them know, hey, yo, you got, when you're working, you got a lot of things. You're responsible for a lot of people. And one mistake, and we all say it's just a mistake, but one mistake can mess up everything. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of whether you mean it, you meant it. You didn't mean it. It's an accident. People have to pay for accidents, and that's what happened. And Henry Ruggs is about to pay a big price for what has happened. 
And yeah. you could just read the papers for yourself, and I'm not going to go into it. But kids, the NFL, see, the NFL is going to say they do their job. They have these symposiums. They bring people in. They bring uh, former well, athletes well, in. Hey, hey, hey. Let's leave that they alone. Br- yeah, they, bring in, they, they bring in other back. people. I'm we'll just saying. Back. We'll get back to the fall guy. So that's, you know. And we ain't even talk about the fall guy, but they do symposiums. And that, that will be it. Moving right along. Keys, we're going. Uh, make What's better that? decisions and pay attention to your surroundings. There you go. Right. Man. We're, going, we're going to leave it like that. Hey, moving right along the NBA. Nothing. Well, let me see. Anybody, I would, I would black my screen out, but yeah. I, I'd be having it's still early. The NBA is bro, still early, it's still early, man. Y'all see Nueva York, man. You know what I'm saying? The Knickerbocker is looking real crispy out here. Yeah, you know, see what Charlie Murphy's saying right now, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm whatever. Not, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, you know, but it's so, early, though. It's early. It's, it's good early. to see. Uh, it's good to see. It's good to see. Playing well. I, I, I mean, we got and we got a lot of young teams. Yo, listen, guys, there's a lot of young teams before you have blackout. There's a lot of good young teams, and they playing good. I mean, shout outs to uh, Chicago playing well. Toronto play played a good game, and Washington, matter of fact. So you know, we got a lot of good. There's, there's a lot of talent, man. A lot, of, a lot of young, nice young talent, and that there's a lot of talent in that Houston organization. Uh, Detroit. Uh, but Cade's gonna be that dude. Cade can play. Yes. Don't, don't get that to it. Yes. They yes. whole team, they got a lot of young dudes in Detroit. You guys you know? are young, and this, and this is what's going to happen. They, they're young. They're going to get the, t- the talent, and then, you know, somebody's going to want to go, and that's what happens. And, well, uh, yep. it's and contract, that guy man. that wants to go name is... Uh... It's, it's the contracts, man. So it's hard yeah. to keep a young team together for a long, long time. Yeah. But if you can come up and win something in the first two, three years, you're all right. I tell you, the, dude, the the young dude in the league you watch out for is my man, Ant-Man. Ant-Man is a monster. He cannot be guarded. He's a problem. Mm. Right? Understand that there's nothing that can fuck with the Ant-Man right now. Uh, the only thing that stops uh-oh. the Ant-Man from scoring is D'Angelo Russell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Mike, Mike Mills got that face. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, I mean, he's cool. He's all no, right. He's not cool. But... He's not cool. Look at his numbers. He's Who is right. better than Ant-Man? <laughs> Who's better than he's, Ant-Man? He's all right. Jump Who do up. I like better? No, game is better. Uh, you game can like, is better? You can, you can like a lot of people, but for a second-year player, third-year player. I like LaMelo yo. better. In that class, LaMelo. I'm taking uh, LaMelo. Who we, wait, who are we talking about? Anthony Edwards. Oh. In the Minnesota. Oh, oh. Ant, I'm Ant, taking Ant, LaMelo. Ant's gonna, you know Ant's going to average 30. Eight, and they're not going to win nothing. And they're not no, going to win. Not, that's not his it's fault. It's to his fault. Look what he got. not his fault. But that's who drafted them. You can't tell you who's gonna draft them. Listen, well, your job is to make the team better. The easiest way on paper oh, to see are, your they, team they is better. Be better. They are they, be not gonna make the playoffs. They're not gonna win nothing. Lamelo in the West way before. The Hold West, on, guys. Be, speak, speaking of making better, what is going on with this Boston Celtic team? Can somebody expound on that? I, I told y'all last year. We know no this alpha. season's early. I don't want to hear it's, it's still early. No what alpha. is going on? With this Boston Celtic team, they ain't got no big and they ain't got no point guard. Next question. Yep, and they playing so, hero ball. Let's move on. They ain't got no alpha. They don't have a leader, man. So I told wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tatum, wait, Tatum, was Tatum not a and Brown. Star. I told y'all that last no, now, year. I, I believe Jason listen. Tatum is a superstar, talent wise, but he ain't a. Uh, uh, he's not a leader. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. So yeah, what, so so what are you saying? So are they missing like? Are they a, a one play away or uh, I mean, oh, what is it? No, I just named two positions they need. Yeah. And, they, and, I, and, and I'll name a third one, a coach. Let's go. Yeah, well, they did. Yeah. They just got a new coach. They just got a new coach. coach. And that's exactly my point. Everybody <laughs> talked about this man right here underneath me, Mike Milley, said that Brad Stevens was this and that. Uh, he I'm is. Not, yeah, so I'm what, not, so I'm what happened? Brad. I'm not a Brad Stevens. I didn't fan. see. I didn't so, see. I didn't see Boston do anything last year or the year before. I, I am not a Brad Stevens fan, so I, I'm not. Not. Brad was fan. was Marcus they, Smart? Was Marcus Smart right about the team? The balls not passing the ball. Partially, does he have? Does does he have cachet to say anything? No. Does he have stock to and be the saying thing stuff? Is, he's right partially, but he do the same wild ass shit, but he does it worse. Yeah, but you think because you've been there longer, 
it's okay for you to be wild and it's not okay for the younger dudes to be wild when it's not okay for none of y'all because y'all not doing it right. Exactly, so, Mike. He says so, the yeah. same thing that he does. And right. Throw the goddamn ball away. He take wild ass threes and shooting people face. Stop, man. Stop. Just go do what you was doing when the team was winning. You was That's playing right. defense and shutting the hell up. I'm, so, I'm going with Mike center, point guard, and I'm going to throw my own on the top. They got no leader, no identity. They got so a superstar. He's going to so, score 28, 30 points a game. But he's they not Brown a bucket, too, yeah. but you don't got the rest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brown's a bucket, too. They, they ran through two point guards and Kyrie and, and, and Kimba. And oh, no, still but that was Kyrie's fault. He goes that down was Kyrie's fault. What, what girlfriend said, girlfriend said, oh, Use that up, uh, and he didn't play in 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 Boston. Oh no, he didn't. Fuck <laughs> that. Oh, that. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Warren. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you good. I just wanted to know because uh, the Celtics is pulling up the rear in the in the standings. So but I just wanted NBA's to know. Long season, B. It's a uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, that it is. No, and 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 to be yeah. fair, it is early, and let's just well since you went to Boston, let's go over to Portland. I sent y'all that little article on on, yeah. on uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dame, Mr. Dame Time, and go ahead, uh, explain it. Go ahead, it looked go ahead, like you running ahead. out of time because you crawling out the gate. Well, let me let me pull up there. What's their record? So uh, Portland Port- Trailblazers. Portland is are now three and four. Three and four. Okay, well they 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 must have won their last game. <laughs> Listen, they do this though. This is not new for Portland. Yeah, they always start slow. This Portland has they're losing to Cleveland right now. Cleveland is by one Yo, point. Cleveland is out Cleveland. here. Cleveland is out here running the freakiest lineup in the league. You see what they out there doing? Yeah. Yeah. They got three uh, seven footers yeah. and two dudes under six one. Yeah. yeah, like they are running the craziest lineup ever. And it's working. So and they got have like, those three seven footers. They got. All athletic. Word. Two of them could shoot, and two of them could shoot. I was about to say that. Yeah. And yeah. two of them could protect the rim. And one rebound yeah. like a monster. So Cleveland, Cleveland is a a good team. Um, a nice and random, got, but it works for them. Yeah, they four and four right now. But go ahead, go ahead E. Uh, explain. No, I was just saying. Places and Dame, Dame, Dame Lillard. He's he's having a he's a slow start. I seen the game earlier this week. And he he looks he was all the way off, yeah, not even he, all the way up. He's all the way off. You you can tell the man is not happy with what's going on around him. The man wants to win, and he wants the organization to show that they want to win also. But well, like in, DA they bought, always they say, his, he bought his man in. He bought his man Chauncey. He he wanted Chauncey. So yeah. So I, it ain't you know, about Chauncey. It's about what he out there playing with. Yeah, that too. But, he put his the man you put the, the, the one you wanted to be your sidekick, your partner, your bat, your Robin McCullough. is not who you should have picked. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, you uh, can't uh, win with look at them, them two little guards and you don't got PSA PSA Mike really hates CJ McCullough. CJ McCullough. Hey, they had they had a chance. They had a chance, like chance to. I feel like to... CJ need to be by himself. I yeah. feel like. I feel see, like. If I may, I'll let you go back to that. I feel exactly the same way about uh, Jalen and old boy yes. and Celtics. They, they can't do it together. They'll, they'll never do it together. Mm-hmm. Right. Screw them up, though. You got something going on. Yeah. Right. So, just and then, I, and then Boston will have to explore that. But go ahead, Mike. Yeah, just look at his Robin. Like, CJ, be, CJ do the same thing Dame do, but less efficient. Yeah. And it's like it's it's not gonna work. We both can't. We both can't. We mm-hmm. both can't. Mm-hmm. And then your best defender, you trade him at the halfway last year for Norman Powell. So yeah, you got some more buckets, but that your biggest problem was defense. Can't, so yeah. it's okay. just well, so what is Mike Mike, Mike 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 the said GM the perfect trade Mike just it, said that's all trade. that's CJ for Jalen perfect money's the same make the trade Powell. You have to throw in if you're Portland. You have to throw in some kind of a pick or something because at this point, I would even though I think CJ, well, not that I think CJ is the better shooter, but Jalen Brown is 
to me, is the all-around better, better player. He played better in a way better defender. Jalen can yeah. guard any guy. Yeah. So that would work for Portland. I could see that happening. But, so so Portland would have to make pull off a trade at some point because um right now, I mean, you know, again, what did I say about baseball? After July 4th, that's when we start seeing where who's who. And right about after Christmas, probably about Martin Luther King, we start seeing who is who in the NBA after they get some games underneath their belt. Um, what is your thoughts on, I got one more team. We got the Miami Heat, 6-1, and one, Chicago Bulls, 6-1. and one. New York Knicks are playing, and they are 5-2 and two right now. I think they're losing right now to uh, the Indiana Pacers right now. Um, we got the Utah Jazz and 6-1, and one, Golden State, Los Angeles, the Mavericks, Memphis. Um, and New Orleans is pulling up the Just rear, 1-7. The, the Mavericks are going to make some moves. The Mavericks, the Mavericks is four and three. They're gonna have to because uh, what they got is still not. They look disjointed. Yeah, this dude don't like old boy. So who? That's it. Um, um, Luca. Yeah, 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 man. He come in here fat every year, smelling like Russian cigarettes. Like (laughs) dog, like you know. Yo, I thought it was me. I thought he looked. He looked kind of big. I said, Luca. Dude was like, come on, man. He look a little, it's, it's, he look a little heavy. Years now. Yeah, yeah, you are a, a legitimate MVP dude every year. Mm-hmm. And every year you come back like you ain't you trying to be further and further away from MVP. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't do the shack. I'm gonna play my first month into shape, dog. Like, no, just imagine like you where need you to be, be in shape. In. Yeah. And I feel like Dallas don't got the right cast all the way. Like, yeah, no, they don't. They you just don't. they oh. just he need another ball. They need another ball handler first. They need another I'm, one in the start. But they got Brunson. Brunson can handle that thing. That's what I say. I say start Brunson at the one, move Luca up a spot, and yeah. then you got Hardaway at the three, and just run like that, and well, then go get you somebody off the bench to run the ball for the well, second lineup. Well, listen, but nah, GM, that makes too much sense. GM, GM, I've well, been once, saying that. Hey, hey GM, GM, one, two, why don't you fix the Los Angeles Clippers? Why are you at it? I can't, can't fix, fix that, that shit. That. You can't fix that. <laughs> I can't fix that. What do you mean you can't? Huh? They put that team together to do something. That you team know, is a, like a, a weird, jingle yeah. puzzle. Yeah, they yeah, built weird, it. Yeah, it's like yeah. if you pull the wrong thing at the wrong yeah. time, everything falls down. They yeah. currently are at two and four with but, no Kawhi. Yeah, that'd be like and you know, they put they they made it where Kawhi was going to be the savior, yeah, and well, he ain't going to be back this year. So. He's not playing this year, so I don't think so neither. I yeah. think they hiding it to keep morale and keep the other teams yeah, on edge, but I don't think he's playing. I, I he's not coming. Tell the people, man, it was an ACL, or was it his yeah, ACL, to him? ACL? ACL. Yeah, he was playing cautious about other stuff. He's not coming back this year. ACL's yeah. two years for everyone except for Adrian Peterson. Because uh, Adrian Peterson is Adrian, Adrian Peterson. Is, Adrian, Adrian built Peterson from is, elephant bones and yeah, he's a yeah. rhinoceros yeah. skin. Yeah, he like breed. Ron Artest. They a special breed of strong. Yeah, old Africans, you know. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> old, old African. I, I will say this, gentlemen. Um, I look across the league, and even though I always say I don't, I don't watch the NBA. I really do. I just keep it low key. The NBA is in a real good. I know we talk about it all the time. The NBA is in a real good space, um, talent wise. Um, even the bad teams have something to build around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you look at the Rockets; it's one in six, but the only it's, the future is bright in Houston. Just don't look it look like it right. They got a bunch you know of fifteen saying? year olds. They got an AAU team playing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Give them give them four or five years, and then yeah, I mean, then you might have to worry about contracts and all, but still. But if you're mm-hmm. not, if you organize it right, you can have them. True, so Houston. Yeah, I like that big they got with the foreign one. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Aparon, Segun, I like him. They got the crew, man. I mean, you, you, you look at, at the NBA, Detroit's going to be all right, you know. Um, like you talk about Cleveland, they're going to be all right. The West is, you know, they're youngsters out there. It's not a game. So Jazz, Phoenix, and, you, you know, listen, man, the Jazz lost one of their main dudes to the Knicks, my man Ang. Whatever his name is, 
You know, mm-hmm. they have to shoot that thing. You know, so there, there, there's guys out there, man. You know, and Phoenix is, is a, is a, you know, and, and and Denver, my man's not even back yet. The yardie from the party ain't even back yet, man. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, yo, dog, like it, it, it's very serious, man. And and this is why when I look at the league, I don't, I don't panic. I ain't panic with the, um, my man Ben Simmons thing. He'll be playing for the Sixers before the year's out because he has to. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody will get rid of him. All right, well, you know, look, look I'm not getting rid of no five sixty bends or <laughs> the Newports Dude. and some chicken wings. I don't care yeah. what you say. Yeah. I don't care what kind of noise the Benz makes. Extra crispy on the chicken wings. Yeah, he's staying here, though. He's staying here. Chop That's him in half. Say. Chop him yes. up. Chop him up. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. Like, you just got to see it, man. Because if the trade could have been made, it would have been made. I was trying to give them John Wall and Eric Gordon for, for Ben Simmons. Mm-hmm. Let's go. It happened. There was some logical trades that didn't happen. So well, that means he's staying. Well, let me and, let me just ask y'all this. And I'm gonna start with you, D Dub. If you're the GM of the Orlando Magic, what in the world would you do? Because that's another team to me, in my opinion, yeah, that just yeah. got pieces that's just all over the place that yeah, there's that, they, no gel whatsoever. I mean, other than uh what's my man Cole Anthony, you gonna keep him. Um Mark Everybody else? Night. Who? Mark Kelvin Knight. He ain't thinking, so. I'd trade him, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I, other other than Cole Anthony, everybody else would be up for grabs. You know what I'm I saying? I'd trade so, one of them point guards. I'd trade one of them bigs. Yeah, yeah I mean. That's why they play in Mo, though. They play yeah. in Mo because they think they can get something from Mo Bumper. Mm-hmm. They could have got more for him if they'd have traded him last year instead of they yeah. holding him hostage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, remember, you were talking about this last year, Mike. They wasn't playing them enough, so dudes didn't know if he could still play. They just had him sitting around. That's another thing that teams do that they 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 end up burning their own selves for not playing these guys, so you know what you have, so you can figure out if they trade bait or not. LeBron was trying to get Mo last year. The Mo could really? play, man. LeBron was like send him because Mo could play and Mo could shoot a little bit. Mm. You know He's who, a threat. You know, you know who Philly could have got though the point guard that they got from. What's that school? Gonzaga that's down there in, in Orlando. Give him, him something else and we send you Ben Simmons. Give me him and the right. big and Ben Simmons. Boom. All them guards is expendable. Just pick one. Yeah. one which, yeah. Cause all three of them are good. No, there's not yes. a bad one in the bunch. So right. pick one you, you don't think is going to be the future and you can send them anywhere and get something back. Right. You're right, Michael. And that you know what good. I don't understand too? Why, why none of these veteran teams trade for Terrence Ross? I think homie can score. He may can't do nothing else, but homie can score off the bench. Terrence Ross. Terrence Ross, yes, he's a he's a good player and he can score. Go ahead, Mike. They don't want to win that bad. He's not a auction block name. You know with some names. Remember how back in the days there'd be some names every trade deadline. Mm-hmm. You knew somebody was gonna go get like John Salmons. Remember how every year John he got Sal- a new team? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know why they don't put Terrence Ross in that mix. So, yeah, he's like the same type dude. I think yeah. Atlanta's gonna be good this year because. Cam Reddish's balling. Um, yeah. We knew he that. Yeah, get off he that finally bench. woke up. He broke yeah. out that four-year slump since college. Your boy, um, Nate McMillan, had a plan for him, they said, man. And yeah. that's why Nate sat him last year and got his head right. He's like, yo, mm-hmm. don't worry. By next year, you're going to be a big part of this right here. And because that other cat that was dunking on everybody last year is still dunking on dudes this year. The light skin cat. So, yeah. Who's talking about? Be, um, Collins? Yeah, man. John Collins, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and my man, yeah, y'all. I told y'all, I told everybody. Everybody oh. thought us crazy. Oh, Trey Joe by Trey. Bad. No, Trey, Trey yeah. Bad. Yeah. So yo, listen, yeah. man, yo, he ain't no Steph Curry. So fucking what? He real fucking close, real real close. Because hey. he don't miss none that he's standing open, and that's the key. Like you don't, him and Steph, if they're by themselves, they don't miss the three. Period. Not 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 kind of. Watch him. And I watched yeah. it last year. And I said, Dad, trade, not trade, in his face. trade came of age. He did. Yeah, he did. If, if, if you're not on him, yeah. it is going through. I will say, though, 
I think a lot of that has to do with uh, Nate McMillan, though, because Trey Trey was balling, but he wasn't he wasn't efficient as as far as getting others involved oh, like yeah, he like was he when did. Nate got in. So yeah, yeah, I think Nate actually brought something out of him that he saw in college. Because remember that whole when he was in college, Trey actually led the country in points and assists. He was at Oklahoma, so he could do it. But he got there with that other dude, and they were telling him, oh, Trey, just shoot the ball. You know, yeah. it goes back to what you always say. E, if you're not developed the right way, you're going to do things the wrong way. True that. You know, so True they that. got rid of him. And Nate was a, you know, for all the youngsters that don't know, he's not a Hall of Famer. Nate McMillan was a bad boy yeah. as a point guard for the Seattle Supersonics. Nate was solid, yeah. Great many years, man. Nate was solid. So, yeah, he's a bad boy, man. Played they say team. culture change. That's a culture change. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, guys, hey, we're going to transition. Uh, I'm going to let oh. y'all have the floor with the college football. We got uh, finally we got a final. Well, we got six teams. Oh, this is the first one. The first, right? First one. So you got Georgia, Georgia number one, Bama number two. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Bama number two. Oregon comes into the mix. I'm sorry, excuse me. Let me. Uh, Michigan at number three. Oregon at number four. Michigan State at number three. Mis- Michigan State. Correction. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ohio State number five, and Cincinnati number six. That's about Guys, right. What you think? That's about right. About right. I told y'all Michigan was gonna get it. I'm out of here. I told y'all. Uh, uh, I'm eight, not eight. sure. Guys. You remember what I told y'all, right? Last week, y'all laughing? Okay. When that Michigan-Ohio State game comes, when Michigan leads winning, you can see it last week and why they're going to beat Ohio State. They mm-hmm. lost to Michigan State because they wasn't physical as Michigan State, but they are far more physical than Ohio State. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you'll, you'll see because that's what they're going to do to Ohio State. They're going to bludgeon them physically. So... I've been watching that all week. So. so we got Michigan falling to seven, number seven, Oklahoma at number eight, Wake Forest. Wake Forest, number nine. Am I reading that correct? Yeah, yeah, Wake Forest, seriously. And Notre Dame, number 10. That's yeah. the top 10 right there. So yeah, you, you got you, you, uh, yo, yo, you got e, two you more muted. weeks. You on mute, mute, E. Talking on, how did that happen? Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's how bad the ACC is that Wake Forest is at the top. And that's not ah. a slight, that's not a slight to Wake Forest, but come on, man. Ain't nobody, nobody gonna tell me they saw that coming. So yeah, I, you see what I said. I said Wake Forest. <laughs> so is that they got a Wake. football team? Now, yeah. Now, now I will say, now as much slack as I give uh UNC, Wake Forest gotta come in in into Chapel Hill Saturday and get that W um at 12 o'clock. Mm. That's going to be their toughest game this year. I'm, I'll tell you that. North Carolina traditionally plays better toward the end, the, the second half of the year. I give mm-hmm. them that. Fact. That is a fact. So, all Wake Forest better that, eat their Wheaties. Yeah, well, all I can say is don't expect Wake Forest to be good for another five years, though. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's only happened every senior class. So, don't. Yeah. Next year, they're going to be <laughs> hot boo boo. So, hot boo boo. Oh, they whole team 23 years old. All of them. That's educational school. Those cats got to go to class up there, boy. So. True that. <laughs> so we got what we got this week. We got Georgia and Missouri. We got the blowout. Uh, no blowout. Wake Forest no and North Carolina. Ohio Ohio State at Nebraska. The blowout. blowout, blowout. Pits- Pittsburgh at Duke. The blowout. Uh, any, any, what's that? We got Michigan State at Purdue. Blowout. Uh, Tulsa at Cincinnati. Who cares? Okay. Uh, Oklahoma State versus West Virginia. All righty. Yeah. Uh, number 12, Baylor at TCU. Moving right I was along. about to say some real effed up stuff on that last one. <laughs> Auburn, that Auburn one. at Texas <laughs> okay. A&M. That, that, that methamphetamine bowl. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, let me, now let, at the end of the show. Let me scroll mm-hmm. through this real quick. Uh Mississippi State, Arkansas, oh, North Carolina Ooh. State at Florida State. Uh 
Yo, y'all, y'all stop me if I'm missing anything. Or oh, LSU, Yo, you ain't missed nothing yet. Yeah, yeah, LSU at at uh, Alabama. That goes wrong. Yeah. Okay. Al- Alabama already had their uh their, that one defeat. You know they yeah. get one defeat every two three years. So uh, LSU gonna get smoked. Okay. Did well, they first game after that loss? No, nah, they won last week. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, guys, if y'all got anything else for me. I'm looking down to the the I'm looking down the list, bro. It ain't it ain't it's almost like the NFL. It ain't this ain't week is really... like a Wednesday for every sport. It's like yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna sleep Saturday. All right. Well, well, um maybe hey. man, Kev, uh ain't nothing too much going on in uh in the world of uh college sports right now, uh as far as the teams they playing. College nothing basketball really... coming. College basketball coming. That's gonna My be favorite uh, Mike time Mills. Of year. Favorite time of the year for Mike Mills, and he's going to be uh, leading the way on college basketball, keeping us abreast on what's going on in the world of college basketball. Can't All right. wait. Yeah, guys, we got a uh, what we got uh, unification, super middleweight unification match this week. Uh, this weekend with Canelo Alvarez at versus Caleb Plant. That's the hot. Uh, Boxing for November six. Uh, I don't see. I don't know much about this Caleb Plant. He looks good, but uh, hey, uh, what I've been watching for Canelo for the last several years, <laughs> Canelo probably is better. <laughs> if you know, so that's um, you know, good fight. I think it's probably be a good fight. Uh, MGM this weekend in Vegas, so y'all guys can check out for that. What what the yeah. undercard looking like? Uh, Nothing. Canelo's no. yeah. Usually Canelo's undercards. I, I I never really um. It's nothing to you know. You have some guys fighting, but you know you know you don't really know them until the until they have a good fight and they'd be like, okay, check out for this guy such and such. So right, right. Um, right. Okay. Other than that, um, you guys got anything? Sweet. Wow. I'm going to just say this, man. Shout out to the Carolina Hurricanes. A and O. They're tied with the Chicago Blackhawks right now, 1-1. One, one. Okay. It's early, but they looking real good, man. They looking real good. NHL is the, another early. It's, it's still early. I'm going to let Dan, the man, get, in, get into the into the hockey when he comes yeah. back and join us again. Uh, we enjoyed him the last time. Um, I was out, but uh, he was in. And uh, he did a real good job. So, with that being said, Mike Millie, what can we be found? Well, that was a smooth transition. That was real smooth. You might got oh, your brother man. beat. Yeah. No, he, he got him beat. Be he got him beat with that one. That was a smooth transition. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Lewis, man. <laughs> right, he gonna he gonna dock my my sick days. But uh, <laughs> you can be found wherever you listen to your podcast at. May that be Apple. May that be Spotify. Shoot, even YouTube, we can be found anywhere that you listen to podcasts at. And also be found on Facebook at Sports Chases Podcast. Also, Instagram and Twitter at Sports Chases Podcast. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, or even if you want to comment on DA's bad language. Sorry. And that is all. <laughs> Kevin hey. will be back next week, and I'll be cool. I promise. Hey, he said he'll be back. He'll, he'll be back next week. Feeling better. He'll be cool. Hey. Guys, good show. Um, we had to do a little uh express route a little bit, but I think we covered for you know for the base for the most part. We we did um we covered uh most of our bases there. So uh with that saying, any parting shots from you guys before we get out of here. Everybody be safe. Be safe from DA Mike Millie. Um uh shout out to Saturday. Saturday and, uh, Here we go. That's it. Enjoy your evening and the rest of your week. Be safe. Angry one, what's up? You know me, man. Yo, everybody out there, watch out for your fellow man, woman, and child. Shout out to Sports Chasers Podcast, episode 101. We're moving right along. Shout out to the big homie, Kevin L., the moderator, the host, the DJ with the with the most. You heard? <laughs> we'll see you next week, big homie. Hey, I just wanted to say this real quick, man. Um, Jorge Soler. 
Uh, we I touched on it earlier. This man went from damn near last place with the Kansas City Royals, was involved in a trade because they seen the talent that he had, and now he's a World Series MVP. He's a mm. champion. And I say that, I bring that up to say, if you are passionate about something, you'll never give up, man. Even if you're not, even if it's just your regular nine to five, you're still trying to figure things out or whatever, don't never give up, man. Because the opportunity could be knocking at any time, man. You gotta be ready, you know what I'm saying? Open oh, that God. door when it knocks, because it doesn't knock often. So shout out to Jorge Soler, shout out to the Atlanta Braves once again, and uh, shout out to all you good human beings out there. You earthlings, man, y'all know what y'all could do. Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. right. On that note, hey, guys, it's been a, it's been good. Um, like I said, the big homie, he'll be back uh, next week. Uh, he took PTO. <laughs> took yeah, PTO. Yeah, we we docking yeah. your hours like you do mine. Street clothes. Street clothes. Street, he's street closing tonight. Street clothes. <laughs> Yo, good, good. I'm about to say good game, good show tonight. Uh, I got no partner shots. Uh, other than everybody, be good. Yo, subscribe, like, tell us what you like, what you don't like. Um, and we're gonna keep the show rolling. Uh, on behalf of myself, Mike Millie, the angry one, the DA, and uh, the moderator. We'll see you next week. Sports Chasers podcast. Good night. Boom, boom.